Hi everyone, this is Melissa with Cute Nail Art. In this video, I wanted to talk about tools for nail art. If you're gonna do nail art, you really need to have the right tools because it will make all the difference. There's different kinds of tools though. There's tools that are mostly for care and maintenance, which are things like nail clippers. You can really get into the corners and clip a precise area of a hangnail with this and you can even do specific angles with uh, your nails. Then you've got cuticle pushers. There's all different kinds. Um, you can even use one of these little orange sticks as a cuticle pusher. These orange sticks come in longer sizes and small sizes. Of course a nail file is absolutely top priority and after you're done filing one of these brushes is great to have. You can either use this in the sink to clean your nails with water and soap or you can use it dry to sort of brush away the dust after you've filed your nails. Now we'll get into the actual art tools. These are dotting tools. They are all in various different sizes from tiny to really big and they're double sided so the other side they all have a dot that's pretty much the same size and then this end is the end that has all the varying sizes. These are great for making polka dots and if you use the tiny one you can use it to actually draw really small details with it if you dip it in paint. The bigger one, you can even use it to sort of, uh, you know, dab your way through a bigger, smoother design, which I've used it for all of these purposes, and they're amazing. If you don't have the money for dotting tools right now, like a set of them like this, then you can always make your own. The first way is you can take a regular bobby pin, and you just sort of bend it like this, kind of like an L shape, because that'll give you something to hold on to rather than bending it straight and you just dip one end into some polish and you can use it to make your dots. Then another way to do dotting tool is, like if you want a bigger one, you could take one of these pins and you know, you'll have a lot more control if you secure it into the end of something. You can push it into a nail file or into a pencil eraser and you've got something bigger to hold on to. You could dip it in the paint and uh, do your bigger dots. Now if you want really tiny dots, you can always use one of these orange sticks or a toothpick. And then probably the most important thing of all is your brushes. You could buy nail brushes from a beauty store, which I'll show you the ones I got at the beauty store. These came in a pack together. These are striper brushes. And I bought them at Sally's Beauty. So let me just take these little clear plastic things off the end and I'll show you a better look. So they come in uh, various lengths and widths. Uh, be very careful when you're cleaning them though. You can see mine's fraying on the end here. I'm going to have to reshape it. But basically, uh, when you take some nail polish remover on a cotton ball and you go to clean these after you're done, do not twist. Never ever twist. All you want to do is just grab it and wipe it off like this. You just grab and wipe off. Because if you twist it, you'll see it'll start to fray, which is the mistake that I learned not to do that. Sometimes you can, like if you twisted it this way and it frays, sometimes you could twist it back that way and it'll fix it. But um, I'm going to have to fix this. Anyways, um, this is what they look like when they are brand new. You can use them to make thin lines and details. But I like to put the uh, plastic caps back on them just to prevent the bristles from getting damaged or bent. I also got this brush at the beauty store. This is my go-to brush when I'm doing really tiny, fine details. And if you don't have a beauty supply store, you can always go to the craft section of a bigger store like, say, Walmart and get you some of these acrylic paint brushes. They're detail brushes. You can actually trim these if you want to make them into smaller detail brushes. All you do is you just take some nail trimmers and you just sort of come in here and very gently trim away at the edges until you get it down to as thin as you want it. You can also take a regular kitchen knife and just go back and forth and cut until you cut away as much as you want. Always clean your brushes after every use and store them somewhere where they can't get damaged. I like to store them in the pouch that they came in. It holds everything together and keeps them from bending. Another thing you can get is these little glasses. These are, a lot of people use them for acrylic nails to hold the acrylic liquid. But you can also use this for water marble art, which, uh, go ahead and Google that, and eventually I'll do a water marble video. But, um, this is better than using a big cup or a bowl, because you basically waste a lot less polish. You, you do your drops of water in here and the space is so much smaller 
and cleanup is easier. And then if you just feel like you uh, need a lot of practice at nail art, but you don't wanna do it on your nails, you can do it on one of these. This is a practice finger, so you get this at uh, Sally's Beauty or whatever beauty supply store you have. There's even an adhesive back here. You just peel it off and you can stick it to your table. Anyway, it's very simple to use. You just take a fake nail and you put it inside. It basically just clips inside of here like that. And you can practice your designs all you want until you get the hang of the techniques. And you can just easily change it out and put another one in. These are great. Just get a cheap box of nails and practice all day with it. Okay, that's it for my nail art tools video. I hope this helped to give you some good pointers on all the options for tools and supplies out there. Thank you for watching and have a great day.